Amen. Of the Moabites. Ammonites. Ammonites. Edomites. Edomites. Zidonians. Zelenodians. And Hittites. A whole lot of ites going on. That's right. Hittite. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of now Israel. Now I want you to pay attention to what the Lord said about these nations. That's right. But yet Solomon was attracted to what the Lord spoke against. That's right. Listen. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel. Yes. Ye shall not go into them. God said don't go to them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Neither should they come to you. For surely. Surely. They look at the warning. For surely. Warning. That's, that's warning. Right. Warning. That's right. God surely. says surely. They will turn away your heart. They will turn away your heart. After their gods. That's exactly what have happened in the churches. That's right. That's right. And when your heart turn away from God to the gods of this world. Oh, yes. You're going to build up. That's right. Everything that you preached against. That's right. Everything. Everything. That you stood so firmly against. That's right. Slowly but surely. Oh, yes. You're going to be manipulated. Man manipulation is successful when you're weak. That's right. And not sound. That's right. You got men and women that's full of hell that will pray and play upon oh, yes. your weakness and vulnerability, which is a spirit of a low down, no good dog. That's right. Get me. For surely they will turn away your heart after Shut their up. gods. Look at older folk will remember back in the 1970s, Jim Jones. Yeah. And the Jim Jones massacre. Mm -hmm. He manipulated those followers. That's right. Enough to leave America and all pack up and go to another place. Manipulated them enough that he was sleeping with their daughters That's and right. their sons. That's right. And they was giving their children to him willingly. That's right. My Lord. He would go have sex with the women while the husband will sit and watch. That's right. And they said it was an honor to give our wives to the man of God. He was a pimp. That's it. That's all he was. Get me? That's right. right. Hear me good now. Hear me good. Hear me good. I want to roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. For surely they will turn away your heart. Surely they will turn your heart away. After their gods. Look at you. Look at you. Viewers. Look at the church you're in. Amen. Look at the church you're in. Look at how it changed over the years. The church changed because the preacher's heart changed. That's it. When the preacher's heart changed, his feeling that he had towards God, that changed. That's right. And when his feeling towards God changed, his mind changed. Right. So now the things of God is not as important as they used to be. That's right. That's right. Why do you think church is nothing but entertainment now? Amen. Oh, yeah. Choirs don't sing to the glory of God. No. They perform to entertain people. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Not singing for God's glory no more. No. Just to perform. That's it. Entertain people. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? For surely they will turn Tell away it. your heart. The After world, the religious world. Oh, yes. Heart have changed. Oh, yes. Oh. Amen. When your heart changed, use a backslider. That's right. You know, a lot of you think that a backslider is when someone leave the church or leave the building. Oh, no. Oh, you no. backslide before your body leave a building. That's right. I mean, long before your body went anywhere. Oh, yes. The Bible says it this way about Israel. In their heart, they turned back again into Egypt. Back again. That's, huh? right. That's right. Didn't they say so? In Acts 7 and verse 39. Be quick. To whom our fathers would not obey. Look at the apostles reflecting, telling Israel about their fathers. To, to whom our fathers would not obey. But thrust but him from thrust them. Thrust him from them. And in their and hearts. in their hearts. Turn back their again. Their heart turned back again. In, into Egypt. Into bondage. And that's where backsliding start. That's is it. when your heart go back to the world. Well, even it. when your body come to church every Sunday. That's right. That's right. That's the churches have went back. Went back. Long 
long time. Oh, yes. Anytime you get disco lights now in church. That's right. Amen. A disco ballroom sparkle globe in church. Amen. Psychedelic lights in church. Amen. Besides a choir singing and may rock back and forth, they do extra. That's right. Extra now. Extra. In other words, church people today are scared That's to right. be different from the world because they're more focused on being accepted by the world even if God reject them. Amen. The church's priorities have gotten wrong. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For they love the praise of men. Do you hear it? In St. John chapter 12 and verse 43. Glory to God. They love the, the praise, praise of, men, of men more, more than the praise of God. Than the praise of God. That's they right. love it. Love it. They love it. Don't want to hear nothing what God have to say no more. No. They don't want to hear the Bible preach no more. Oh, no. There are some men that will invite men to their church and they'll tell them, look, uh, make sure you don't preach doctrine. No doctrine That's here. That's right. That's right. They'll tell you that right away. That's don't, right. Don't, don't bring no doctrine here. That's you know, right. just, you know, just make the people feel good, but no doctrine. No doctrine. In other words, we don't, we don't want no real church. That's right. No, thrust that from us. That's right. That's right. That's right. No longer want to be holy. Amen. That's why they look at me so strange. Oh, yeah. yeah. Had an old woman in her 80s going on 90. She said, I thought holiness was gone off the planet. Amen. She said, when I heard you, I could not believe of what you were saying. A holy, sanctified preacher? Mm. She said, I thought all of y'all were dead. Amen. Oh, Amen. Lord, dear God, this is the one cave man that came out the cave. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. That's right. We come out. That's it. Glory to God and we come out thundering Bible. Oh, yes. Telling the world to come back to Bible. That's it. Come on back. That's it. Come on back to Bible or else to. be stubborn and sit still and die and go to hell. For they love the praise the of men. The Bible said they love the praise of men. More. More. Than the praise of God. Loved it. Go back to Solomon now. Back Let's in, look at what he loved. Back in 1 Kings chapter 11 and verse 1. Be quick. But King Solomon loved many strange women. He loved many strange women. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites. I want to show you how Solomon built up what he destroyed with the idols. Read fast. Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. Yes. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children the of Israel. The Lord said to the children of Israel. Ye shall not go into them. Don't you go into them. Neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn don't away you your heart. Don't go to them and don't you let them come to you. That's right. Because there's a spirit in them. That's right. They'll turn you. For surely. Surely. They will turn away your heart you after know, their gods. You know, if you're trying to stop a thing. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me good. If you're trying to stop a thing, you cannot afford to be around people that's indulging in what you're trying to quit doing. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. You trying to stop smoking and stop cussing and stop drinking and stop gambling and them the only friends you hang around. Be not deceived. They gonna hold you hostage with the same habit. Yes, they will. The Bible speaks plain in the book of Corinthians. First Corinthians 15 and verse 33. That's what? Be not deceived. They start off warning you. Be that you know don't be tricked. Evil. Don't be deceived. That's right. Evil. Communication. Communication. Corrupt. It will corrupt. Good manners. Good manners. That's right. I don't care how good you want to be. You keep hanging around a corrupt people, a corrupt man, a corrupt group. Oh, yeah. You're going to be held hostage by that corruption and you will never. That's right. Oh, it's take God come out of what you're in. That's right. That's right. Be not deceived. That's why many of you is held hostage in these fake Fake holiness churches. Oh, yeah. Fake apostolic churches. That's right. They're held hostage That's right. because they are doing what you love. That's right. Fashion shows That's in right. churches and raffle tickets in churches and amen, banquets in churches where the women come with a gown back all out, deep cut, showing your cleavage and got your face painted like Jezebel. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Yeah. That's right. What did he say, son? Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Evil communications. Corrupt good Evil. manners. Evil. Evil communication. Wrong dialogue. Corrupt good manners. Having the wrong conversation. Hallelujah. That's right. Be not deceived. That are corrupt yet. Oh, yes. 
You're so weak, you can't, you can't take it being around that type of talk. That's right. You're so weak, you'll be part of it. That's right. And before you know it, you're in it so deep, you can't get out of it. That's right. That's true. Be not deceived. That's why God says, come out. Come out from among them. From among them. And be ye separate. Get away from them. Be ye separate. Come out. Come out. Oh, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out from among them. Oh, thank God, I got the blast that you know. Bless them. That's right. Come out. Come out from among let them. Let them alone. And be Even ye separate. Even Jesus said, let, let them, them alone. alone. That's right. If the blind. Lead the blind. Both. The both shall fall into the gold to hell. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Save yourself. Hallelujah. Your mama don't want to go. Stop arguing with her. That's right. Your husband don't want to go. Stop arguing with him. That's right. Your wife don't want to go. Stop arguing with her. Amen. Save yourself. Save yourself. That's it. Stop arguing with your bishop. That's right. Save yourself. Save yourself. Work on yourself. That's it. That's it. Go back to the book of Kings. Hallelujah. Back go in 1 Kings 11 and verse 2. What did it say? You God? shall not go into them. Stay away from them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Neither shall they come unto you. For surely they will turn surely away your heart. They'll turn away your heart. After their God. That's what happened to a lot of you. Oh, yes. A lot of you preachers are friends with preachers who don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. That's right. You got so close That's until right. now you are saying he's not God. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. That means with hell, That's right. you are at, at an agreement. agreement. At agreement. On the falsehood you have hid yourself. That's right. That's right. Now imagine that so close with a preacher. He tell you Jesus Christ ain't God. Imagine oh that. yeah, you know he ain't God. Blasphemed so fast. Yeah, we have made a covenant with death. Listen at the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 15. We have made an agreement with death. And with hell. And with hell. Are we at agreement? We have made a covenant. We have made a pact. With death. With death. We have made a pact with sin. And for the sting of death is sin. That's right. We have made a covenant. With death. With sin. And with hell. What you mean made a covenant with sin? We made covenant. a pact. That's we ain't right. going to preach that no more. That's right. Huh? That's right. We done made a pact. We're not going to preach Jesus Christ as God no more. That's right. We're not going to preach there's one God no more. We're not going to preach against women preachers and divorce and remarry. We ain't going to preach that no more. That's right. We ain't going to preach you got, that you got to speak in tongues. We're going to leave that alone. That's it. And let them just get the Holy Ghost on their own will. We have made a covenant. We ain't going to preach you got to be baptized after you repent in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to toss that out. That's right. We're going to get rid of modest apparel. Let them go on to their club and let them, let them have parties and church. That's it. Because, you know, it's a younger generation. That's and right. And we got to resort to new ways to get young people. That's right. Liar! Amen. Amen. That's like saying you got to become a whore. Yeah. To stop your friend from whoring. That's right. That's right. Ain't got to become a drunk to make you stop drinking. That's right. I got to follow God. That's it. That you may see God in my life. That's it. That's it. Are right, you listening to what I'm talking? We have made a covenant with death. So this is the mindset of churches. Oh yeah. We got the result to all these methods. Oh yes. To get young people. That's right. Let's have parties. Yeah. Let's have set up a Christian dating website. That's right. This is all supposed to be church. 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 Let's rub arms with politicians once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Let's invite a Christian comedian. That's right. The cracks jokes for the young people That's right. on Saturday night to keep <laughs> them off the street. That's what they keep them off the street and then give them a comedian. And what's on the street now? You got it entertaining them. That's right. Old folks say out of the frying pan into the fire. Oh, yes. Finish it. Read what you have, son. But back in Isaiah 28 and verse 15. Read quick. Because ye have said we have made a covenant with death. We made a covenant. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. With, with death. death. And with hell. With hell. Are we at agreement? Imagine you made an agreement with hell. With hell. And what? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. When the overflowing scourge, when the terror pass through, it they shall, say, it shall they not come mind, unto us. It won't come to us. For we have made lies our refuge. Oh, yes. Oh, imagine yes. that. 
Oh, yes. The Bible says God is our refuge. That's right. But the false church is in a false prophet. What is their refuge? We have made lies. We have made lies. We hide under lies. And under for falsehood. Our refuge and under faking, under ha falsehood. Have we hid ourselves? Amen. Under falsehood. You know, this is a gospel that's strong. Oh, yes. Glory to God, you can hear and feel yes. the strength in it. That's right. All right, let's go back to Brother Solomon. I want everybody to hear me and get this. Back in 1 Kings 11, still in verse 2. All right. You shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. Yes. For, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. And? Solomon clave unto these in love. And he had 700 wives. Wait. Amen. Solomon didn't just associate himself. Solomon clave unto these in love. Clave. That's it. He cleaved to it. That's right. Didn't want to surrender them. Amen. Didn't want to give them up. Yeah. He was passionate about it. That's right. The Bible tells you his emotional tie. Solomon clave unto these. With what emotion? In love. Love. His love. That's right. Help him hostage in sin. That's right. Unlawful love held him hostage That's right. in sin. That's right. That's you, viewers. Oh, yeah. That's why you don't like to, you don't want to give up that second wife and second husband, <laughs> third wife and third husband, yeah. because you are cleaving, cleaving to them. That's right. In love. You don't want to come out the PAW and the UPC no. and the Church of God and Prophecy and the Church of God in Christ. And the church of pillar ground and truth and the church on the of the living God and amen and the house of prayer for all hypocrites <laughs> and the right. so-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic nothing. Amen. Way of the cross. Way of the, cross. Way of the mess. That's right. You don't want to come out these so-called apostolic and Pentecostal organizations. Where you can remarry and divorce, live together, not married, have same-sex marriages, yeah. don't believe Jesus Christ is God, don't have one God. That's right. That's right. Preacher wives run the church. Amen. They not only got the preacher wife as the first lady, mm -hmm. but in Philadelphia, many churches got same-sex marriages. Yeah. So there's one preacher, his wife ain't the first lady, his boyfriend bears the title the first man in the church. The first man. Not the first lady, first man. That's right. Lord, Lord. Are you listening? Solomon, clave unto these you in see, love. I'm like a rock waller. <laughs> That's right. When it comes to the Bible, barking oh, yeah. and chasing you down with Bible, That's it. ripping your belief to shreds. That's right. You don't like it because you can't tame me. That's right. Amen. Amen. You can throw money, you can throw women, you can throw a Ferrari, you can throw anything at my feet if you want. I'm already tamed. Oh, yes. I got a good trainer. That's it. That's it. And God is my trainer. That's right. Hallelujah. You know, when you stand for this so strong, people will try to taint you. Yes, they will. Sure. Oh, they, they tried to taint me and they used social media. Oh, yeah. Yes, they did. I remember a woman. We disfellowship out of our Newport News Church. She was the financial secretary years ago. Yeah. And uh, she stole, I don't even know how many thousands she was stealing. Oh. Sharing it with some old goat. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And security one day told her, come out the office. She was, high, she was in her office, which was adjacent to my office, trying to eavesdrop on all my conferences. My Lord. So I staged the conference. <laughs> the brothers told me that she was doing it. And you know, I love to get a person that benefit of a doubt. So I called one of the other secretaries to come in the office and we staged the conference. Amen. Because I wanted to see where these things so. Yeah. And I told her, make sure you talk loud enough so she can hear you. Amen. Amen. In fact, I told her, stand next to the wall. <laughs> I staged it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and, uh, and it was right because... The financial secretary went and repeated to some of her close friends everything that was said and had no idea we were staging it. My Lord. Because I resorted to that method to find out was the brothers telling me the truth. Yeah. Amen. So then the next time I was down there, she was in her office waiting to see who I had a conference with. And uh, I told the brothers on security, tell her, come out the office. Yeah. Right then she knew she was caught. She got smart. She said, I ain't coming out of nowhere. 
They came to me and said, Pastor Jen, she said, she ain't coming out. I came out my office. I said, you ain't doing what? <laughs> I said, you got a choice. Come out or you shall be resurrected from the dead. <laughs> you ain't dead, but the resurrection will come. The resurrection will come. <laughs> Amen. And uh, she got out of there. Yeah. And when she got out of there, she was so embarrassed, I disfellowshipped her out the church. That's right. I put her out. Well. And she went on the attack. She drummed up a letter of lies as she attacked me, women in the church, brothers in the church, their wives in the church, but she really tried to throw me under the bus. Yeah. Said, Pastor Jenny, with that sister, with that sister, with that sister. He, she said that I bought a sister, uh, some sisters of houses and cars, trying to make me Nelson Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, listen, if you want to be popular, just get on YouTube and just say, folk. Subscribe. Yeah. I hate Pastor Jenny. You might become rich. That's true. That's true. Because hypocrites can't stand Pastor Jenny. That's right. Because I can't be bought like them. That's right. Oh, yeah, she threw me under the bus and whatnot. Oh. I told my wife, I ain't worrying about it. God will take care of her. Yeah. Because when you know that you've done right, you ain't got to worry about what people say about you. That's right. But there was a false prophet. A less than a half inch by half inch Yosemite Sam false prophet in Alabama. Amen. Who put a lie out. Some few people left and started hanging out with him. And he told all of those that hang out with him that Pastor Jennings got a baby in Alabama. Lord. There was a brother, I think, in the Atlanta temple, right? That was one of the ones that left. He used to go to the Atlanta temple. Mm -hmm. Well, that brother used to be close to so some of my brothers, uh, Brother Boogaloo, Brother Miles, and some of the others, <laughs> Brother Boogaloo. And I'm pretty sure Miles is smiling now with that lamp to the side. <laughs> and he tried to persuade them to leave. And the, and the brother, they, they don't even know me. Uh, but the false prophet in Alabama said, Pastor Jennings got a baby in Alabama. I tell you what you do, bring the baby and the woman. That's right. That's right. Hey man, I can face any woman. I got seven kids. <laughs> All right. came out the same womb. That's right. Um, I'm, I'm not a loose hoe. No. Like you. Oh, no. See, I can say, I ain't got no children. That's right. Outside of my seven that I had. That's it. I can say that. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. And I can say it. Loudly. That's right. That's I right. I take care of seven. I don't need no more. No. Seven's enough. But that's what false prophets do. Oh, yeah. They try to get people to come to them. Then they try to destroy your character. That's it. To make sure they don't want to come back. That's right. And they try to make it so as if they know you so much. Yeah. You don't know Pastor Jennings. No. They like to project the image. That they know, Pastor Jennings. You don't know me. No. Pastor Jennings ain't got no babies or baby, singular, in Mobile, Alabama. That's right. Never did, right. never will. Never will. Don't try to make me like you. That's right. You little midget whore. <laughs> don't try to make me like you. That's right. That's a lie you don't have to tell. Amen. Just get in the pulpit and say, I hate. Pastor Jenner. That's now that'll it. be the truth. That's right. You ain't gotta make me like a little miniaturized pimp. That's right. Hallelujah. You little hypocrites. That's right. Hey Amen. You go somewhere and go buy a pack of pampers and sit down. Sit down. God, I'm not a loose man. No, you're not. I don't have no children outside of my wife, and I can say it to the world. That's right. I can say it to the world. That's right. Ain't got to worry about no woman popping up with a baby. Wait a minute. This is mine. I can prove it. I would be just as calm if a woman walked in a convention and That's stood right. up with a baby in her arm. I give her a microphone. That's right. This is your passage. In I'd be very cool. It is. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get the doctor. And what's your name? When was I with you? That's right. Do you know my schedule? What time I got to be with you? And what make you so good I would want to be with you? Amen. 
Amen. I'm not the type of man that jump at everything that got led. That's right. I don't have to pay no woman to sit in church and be quiet and give her money on the side. That's right. I will never stoop that low. No, no. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Amen. That's why they hate Pastor Jen. Oh, so yeah. all of you and that little wooden log cabin that was <laughs> told by your false prophet, Pastor Jen has got a baby in Alabama. Yeah. That's an outstanding lie. That's right. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Ask him, do we have one? That's right. Amen. 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 They can't stand me. No, they can't. They just make up stuff. That's true. I had some people that left the church. That's true. And got mad with my strict preaching out the Del Mar, Delaware temple some years ago. Yeah. Before they left, one of the sisters just got a random picture of a light-skinned baby. Don't know who the baby was. And said, Pastor Jennings got a baby in Washington. Lord. What am I? A sperm evangelist? My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. I know who's the mother of my children. That's right. And she know who's the father of her children. That's right. That's Do right. you know who's the father of yours? Who's the father of yours. You see, you fellas forget. I was your former pastor. I counsel all you people. That's right. And there are things only I know. That's right. That your wives and your husbands don't know. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. And that's what you're forgetting. That's right. I have counseled you. Oh, yeah. And there are things I know that your husbands and wives don't. Don't. But I won't be like you. That's right. I don't have to lie. Nor would I take your personal business and publicize it. That's right. You know, but you know, get a blood test. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Get a blood test. That's right. You that said I got a baby in Washington, I got cousins in Washington. I got in-laws. Yeah. I got a niece. She look almost identical to my wife. Amen. A beautiful little thing. Well, she's a grown woman now. Amen. And I remember before my wife and I got married, we was holding service in the basement. My wife brought her niece, which is her older sister, Joyce, daughter, Shalita. Mm. And when she brought her to church, me and my wife wasn't married yet. There was an old mother, <laughs> Mother Armstrong. She saw that baby, looked at my wife, looked at that baby, looked back at my wife. She went to my mother and said, what is Sister Darlene doing with that baby? Hun, pastor ain't married yet. Mm. She said, what's she doing with that baby? <laughs> my mother said, don't worry, that's her niece. She said, her niece? She looked just like, she said, yeah, but that's her niece. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. To all of you in that false church in Alabama yeah. who pastored, he told y'all, I got a baby in Alabama. Right. It's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. I ain't knock up nobody in Alabama. No. And I've been going there for almost 30 years. That's right. I ain't knock up no Alabama meat. <laughs> That's right, Pastor. But ask your pastor, have he? Mm. And remember, I have counsel and have led you for. So there's things that I, even I only know. That's right. That's right.
See, when you go to a counselor, there's things the counselor knows yeah. that others don't. Amen. You just say, I got a baby in Washington and a baby in Kentucky and a baby somewhere else. Yeah. Like I'm a Rolling Stone cowboy. <laughs> no, no, I'm a father of seven kids. Brittany, Sierra, Ernie, Jordan, Reds, Persia, and the most honorable minister, Malcolm X. Amen. My youngest one. The youngest. Malcolm Malik. That's right. Outside of that, none. None. And I ain't trying to make none. No. Amen. That's right. Now make a webcast and clean it up. <laughs> That's right. Make a webcast and clean it up. You yeah. told the folk that Pastor Jennings got a baby in Alabama. You just flat out lied. Lie. And all liars shall have their part in the lake. That's right. Why are you preachers so focused yeah. on trying to kill my credibility? That's right. It takes more than talk oh, yeah. to stop the truth of God. Oh yeah. If you want to stop it, you're in the wrong location. That's right. You got to go to heaven. To heaven. Go to heaven. And stop God. That's right. When you stop God, then you will stop me. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did Solomon say? You shall not go into them. Don't go into them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Don't come to you. For surely they will turn away Show your heart. The rich God. Surely they will turn Hallelujah. away your heart. They will turn away your heart. After their gods. After their gods. Solomon clave unto these Solomon in love. Solomon clave. Amen. Read fast. And he had 700 wives. 700 wives and 300 concubines. And 300 concubines and his wives. And his wives turned away his heart. Yes. For it came to pass when Solomon was old. When Solomon was old. That his wives turned away his heart after other gods. Amen. Before then, the man was all about one. Oh, yeah. Because that one appeared to him. That's right. His wisdom was a gift from God. That's right. But women, hear me, hear me, hear me good. Yeah. Changed them. Changed them. And this is a known epidemic oh, yeah. in churches around the world That's right. where the preacher is nothing but a front but his wife That's runs right. the entire church. That's right. Am I right I said? Amen. 